Alright lads, Thurka here, and I'm actually making a video, isn't that crazy? So, the Winter EHP Classic Week 5 starts very soon, and it's the second week that I'm competing in, and I wanted to make a video showing my point of view of what happens during the week. Lots of people make recap videos, where they talk about the events that occurred during the week, Instead I wanted to do something a bit different, I wanted to do a video that showed my thoughts at each specific time during the week. So I'm starting the video now on the Saturday before the week starts and I will be recording clips throughout the entire week and then editing it together at the end of the week. So running through some pre-game stuff now, I'm on the team Brimhaven Breadgetters which is led by Uktism. We are, in my opinion, a pretty good team that has got off to a pretty bad start. So we're going to be going into this game on a with a 2-2 two to two record. Two wins, two losses. Um, but we have played some of the best teams in the competition so far. So, not too bad. We also managed to put up a decent amount of hours, even when we do lose. So, not a weak team. Definitely better than our record shows. We're facing up against the Obesity Boys, which I believe is led by Seth. Cephalotaxis, some know him as. Um, I don't know much about this team, except that it has Dumbfounded, and they drafted Jace for some reason. Um, they seem like a really good team, looking at some of the names that is on the team, but everyone rates them really low, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, no idea. They have some really big gamers, but managers always seem to put them like sixth and I have absolutely no clue why. They look like a decent team. The Obesity Boys have come into this with a 2-2 two two record as well, so very similar to to us as a team in terms of score. Um, but they are very, very confident, <laughs> as, as you can see from this clip from Dumbfounded. Uh, <laughs> they think they're gonna win. Next week should be another win for the Obesity Boys. Should be, maybe not. Depends how hard the bread getters end up going. Yeah, no, bread getters aren't gonna make it because if they lose one more game, they're fucked. And obviously, we're hopefully gonna beat them. So it falls to us bread getters to uh, to upset the established order and take the W from the uh, the chubby monkeys over at Obesity Boys. And. I think we can do it. I'm pretty confident. By the way, if you don't know who that was, that was Dumbfounded. Uh, if you don't follow him, I'll put his links in the description. Obviously, this video is going to come out after week 5 finished, but I assume he'll probably be streaming week 6 as well. He's a pretty talented gamer and a good streamer, so if he is streaming, definitely check him out a little bit and uh, yeah, drop him a follow and all that good stuff. So yeah, I think that's all I need to talk about pre-game. I don't think there's anything else I need to mention. Um, a lot of these clips will be taken during streams because I'm going to be streaming a lot of the week so yeah if it sounds like I'm talking to someone that's why I probably am I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah I'll be back after the six hours drop and uh, fuck it let's get this bread so the six hours just ended my six hours was nowhere near as good as I wanted it to be um ended up doing a lot more agility than I thought I would I was meant to do a mining six hour for the whole thing um but basically, it turns out I was really rusty and kept getting interrupted anyway. So I decided to just practice mining and um, do a six hour at some other point. But yeah, we're currently up by two EHP right after the six hours. Um, that's it. Pretty much it. I, I did mining and agility for my six hour. Uh, nothing really special to talk about so far in the game, except that Kurim did a fatty hunt a 6 hour, like 260k average, which is pretty beast. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, nothing nothing interesting. But the game started, let's get it. Alright, it's the end of day 1 for me. I'm on 9.2 EHP right now, uh, going for 3 hours of sleep. 3 whole hours of sleep, as you can tell I'm quite tired, I've been up. Twenty hours at this point and I was gonna try and go through until tomorrow until like tomorrow morning um, but I'm gonna be streaming for 10 hours every single day so I don't think it would be wise to stream for 10 hours when I'm already this tired so I'm gonna go and grab my three hours of sleep and 
Oh my fucking god, I just got smonked. Sweet. I'm ready to go to bed. I'll see you in three hours. I'm gonna sound so fucked. Hello. I want to fucking die. Hey, so it is the end of day one. Coming in. I'm currently sitting on 23.23. Oh, nice. 23.23 EHP. Fifth place in the overall rankings. If you see, uh, if you see her, fifth place just behind Steve Skull, who's talented, so that's fine. And um, yeah, it's going okay for me so far. I had to do three hours of 0.5 EHP zone, so I lost 1.5 EHP there, and then I slept for three hours, so that puts me down to about 25.5 hours gamed. And 23 and a quarter EHP, so I've lost, I've, I've been doing under EHP basically. I've done a decent amount of agility so far. Um, if we look, yeah, a lot of agility, four and a half hours of agility, four and a third hours of agility. So, not great, but yeah, I have lost some hours there. But, if we go and have a look at how the teams are doing. Okay, that that's not accurate. There's no way that we're that far ahead. They definitely have some unlocked, but we are definitely in the driver's seat right now coming into the end of day one so that's good uh looking looking positive for the rest of the matchup um gonna push it to four hours sleep tonight instead of three hopefully get a bit of extra rest uh, i did stream 10 hours today and it was fucking tiring so but yeah same again tomorrow should be fun we'll see yeah peace very quick update coming into the end of day three uh i'm on track to do what i said i was gonna do in terms of EHP, but I've done like no mining. I've done barely any hunters. So I've literally just been in crafting and agility all week. In terms of the team, we're up by like 40 or or 35, somewhere around there right now. Um, and our team is going really hard. We're on track for like a 750, 800 week or something. I may have just jinxed that really hard saying that, but yeah, really quick update because this video is going to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be. And yeah, peace. So it's just gone over to Friday morning, and it's basically over halfway through the comp now so we've got three full days left it's 2 30 a.m on the friday so pretty much two, three full days ahead of us until the end of the comp so i thought now would be a pretty good time to look more in depth at how everyone's been doing how i've been doing you know look at the statistics and all that good stuff so starting off with my week so far uh straight away what i'm seeing is too much crafting i wish i was doing less crafting but um I did a lot of crafting today, like six hours that was meant to be Hunter because I went to Hunter on the stream and one guy was like, nah mate, you're not hunting today. And I just lost all motivation to hunt. So I've basically been doing crafting and roofs today, which is pretty bad, but I'm gonna go hit the quarry up in a second and uh, have some fucking fun there. But yeah, on pace, um, my melees is, is okay for now, I guess. Um, that's all like study slash study slash work slash going to the shops melees um i do work normally just friday and saturday but this week i've worked wednesday and thursday as well in the evenings but it's only like three and a half hours but it does add up and that's where my melees are and then also i study a few hours a day so i probably will hit the melee cap um but that's going to start going up now because Friday and Saturday I'm going to be working and studying as well. So that's going to go up a bit. But whatever. Yeah, I need to do more Hunter. But it can't be helped. If Well, I mean, it can be helped. I can just man the fuck up. But hey, whatever. So the standings for the game. We are currently... How many hours is that? 45 hours up. So yeah, pretty comfortable. Not comfortable enough that we can rest. But you know... It's a decent margin to have going into fr going into the Friday, you know. If we're still 45 hours up come fr Saturday night, like that's pretty much it. It's all over. There is another interesting game going on here: the the Priftinus box traps versus the uh, uh, the ice scenes. What the fuck is that? Whatever. Um, this one's big for us because if the box traps lose, then they have to win against us week seven. But if the box traps win, 
then they don't have to beat us and they will most likely rest in week seven. So if the Icings, like, <laughs> all right, the Icings winning and getting their first win against the box shops would be funny as fuck, but it would actually be really bad for us because then we would have to play three really hard weeks in a row as opposed to getting a rest on week seven, which would be fucking huge. Here's the standings for the bread getters. I'm riding in a very comfortable middle of the pack position. Six, six hours so far, fourth on the team. That's pretty decent. Uh, yeah, you might notice this. Yeah, Vior is a fucking monster. Um, as of right now, he's on track for the mining week. And I've been told, I, I mean, I've not, I don't know if this is confirmed yet, but I'm also told that he's going to get the rank one uh, EHP month. So, yeah, <laughs> Vior's a beast, man. I really hope he gets the mining week because he's been going super hard. Also to know, uh, Diglett is Diglett is evolving, doing uh, better than I think people expected. A lot of people were giving him shit before the week started, uh, and before... Wait, did he play last week? I can't remember. People were giving him shit before he played, and he's doing well. He's a beast. He needs to keep it up. But yeah, I like him. He's a gamer. So the Obesity Boys, uh, dumbfounded, leading by example. Yeah, doing a, a 68 with 60. 69.6 for a Slayer, so that's pretty big. I don't know if this is true, but apparently like Slayer is slightly under 1 to 1 EHP. I'm not sure if that's true. I, I don't really know enough. Uh, L2, what's he up to? Crafting? Yeah, fair enough. Bit of crafting, bit of zone. But also going really hard, so... I think like everyone on both teams is trying, and it's a, a really decent game. Yeah, Boo, what's going big with Fire making an agility, pretty respectable. Kurum, I think crafting, and yep big chunk of hunter what a beast Kurum's really good at hunter like he just is he, he's got the boat he clicks you know he can uh he can get those big hours oh shit Califan mine I don't know who Califan is hmm like I know I know who like I've seen the name Califan around a lot but I don't know if he has like another name he goes by or something I don't know and still stuff we're doing riding out the bottom <laughs> 54 hours like on track for a 100 plus riding out the bottom of the team that's like everyone on this on both teams are going so hard doing yeah, fire making agility pretty beast <laughs> yo it's saturday night and my day has been complete shit i was hoping to stay on track for like the 110 but today has fucked me over uh something came up in real life that i just could not avoid um, and basically I've been out all day and as you can see from my, my update table, all of this is yesterday and today is basically like 12 hours worth of coming in and out of the house and trying to do 20 minute zone but even like, like here, uh, that's like an hour and a half maybe of crafting and then four and a half hours. I got 150k strength XP because I was too busy to even pod up in Nightmare Zone every 20 minutes because uh, I was just driving around a lot. <laughs> like, that's how busy I've been today and like completely unavoidable. So there was nothing I could do about it. And it's basically made me go from pushing for a 110 to pushing to even get a 100, which is really annoying. But yeah, that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm crafting now. Whoa, you just saw my face cringe. Um, but yeah, I'm crafting now because easy one to one, and I'm probably gonna go and do some hunter tomorrow. But yeah, really fucking annoying. Oh, and uh, Vior broke the mining week today. What a beast! So the week is over. We have won. Red Getters take the win against the Obesity Boys, 618 to 543, a really good performance from everyone involved. Uh, I'll put everyone's everyone's uh, personal hours on the screen now. For our team, uh, Harmony, Vior with the 130, Steve with a 111, Diglett 105, myself just barely scraping 100, Ook 94 and Socha at the bottom with 77, really good from everyone involved. I think Socha was busy for a few days, so... That's why he's a, a bit below everyone else, but aside from that, you know, most of us, you, you know, those four in the middle are, are really close, and then obviously Vior's just shooting to the fucking moon. 
uh, yeah, really good performance. Over on the uh, Beastie Boys, they're all really close as well. Dumbfounded with the 104, and then Boo What 97. Um, and then after that, everyone's just, you know, 80, like high 80s apart from Kurum, who was down at 78. But I think you can definitely tell that the Beastie Boys quit. They quit around the Friday morning GMT times, I reckon. Uh, it was around there. Um, it was, I think we were about 50 or 60 up when they quit. Um, so yeah, that's why our score, we were, we were on track for like a 700, like doing a 700 easily. Um, but when the obesity boys quit and stopped trying as hard, we decided to, you know, to recline a bit, get ready for next week, because we have a big game coming up next week versus the Guardians, who are another good team. But that being said, a lot of our members did go really hard. Obviously, they all broke the mining week. Uh, Steed is just a consistent beast and really fucking proud of Diglett, showing everyone that he can he can play the game, you know? And my own performance, just scraping 100, um, I don't know. It was okay, I'll show you now. Uh, there's as much, pretty much bang on how much melee I expected to do, like 20 hours. Um, most of that was during studying or whilst at work. And then on the Saturday, I did quite a lot of 0.5 zone because of in real life stuff. But either way, that's pretty much how much I expected to do. Uh, and then almost exactly the same amount of hunter and agility and then just loads of crafting. I wanted to do more, like, I would have loved for the crafting and hunter numbers to be switched, but there were days where I just didn't feel like hunting, to be honest, so, just, crafting's way too easy, man. It, it's so easy to just get stuck in the, the crafting coma, it's like the easiest fucking one-to-one -one in the game, honestly. But apart from that, I don't really have much else to say for this week. Uh, let's see, was there anything else interesting this week? The box traps did win. All the other games weren't really close. Uh, no, there's nothing else really that interesting there. Uh, yeah, the um, we are playing the Guardians next, as you can see. I'm not going to be playing in this week. I am going to ESL for the Dead Man Mode event on Saturday, so I'm not going to be playing. But if you did enjoy this video, I well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, that's me done. Thanks for watching. Peace.